certain technical advantages that the great mechanical clocks give you. You can, for example, put them up a tower, which is a bit difficult for any other kind of clock. And they very rapidly, through the 1300s, especially in northwestern Europe, in the Low Countries, in northern France and in England, which were the great weaving centers of medieval Europe, mechanical clocks become a way of regulating work rates. And there are a host of declarations by the manufacturers and the burghers of these great weaving towns that they will install clocks in their city which will regularly strike the hours and tell the workers when to clock on, how to work, the rate at which they should work, and when to strike off. So there's an intimate relationship already in the 13 and 1400s between the need to extract greater and greater profit from a workforce and the need to be able to impose regular time management on the production process. And these great mechanical clocks of medieval Europe are an intimate part of that technology of profit and management.